guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I wanna bring you a super simple, super inexpensive disinfectant. If you're unable to get your hands on things like Lysol, bleach, ammonia, those types of things. Um, and it's just plain old vinegar and water. Vinegar is a great disinfectant. It's an acid, it will clean hard water stains. You can clean your sink with it. It's a deodorizer. It's a great thing. And this was $1 at the Dollar Tree. That's it, a dollar. Now I did buy a spray bottle, so that was another dollar. But if you have a spray bottle, it's $1 and it works very well. This is 5% acidity, so this is food vinegar. There's also cleaning vinegar, which is 6%. Um, I couldn't find that, and I was lucky to find this at the Dollar Tree. So I did grab two, um, just to have around the house. I'm doing some house cleaning today, and thought I would show you how I make it, and it's super simple, so give me one second. All right, so there are different concentrations for depending on what you're doing. Um, I'm going to be cleaning household surfaces, so I'm going to do 50% water and 50% um, vinegar. If you were going to, like, say, mop your floors, you could fill this bottle with 25% and 75% water. So let's say this held a cup. You would do one quarter cup vinegar, three quarters of a cup hot water, and then you just mist it on your floor, especially if you have laminate flooring or wood floors. You let it sit for a few minutes and then take a a moistened damp mop, not wet, and you um, mop it up, or a dry rag, dry cloth. I'm going with the 50-50 just because I want that little extra. Yes, it has a bizarre smell, but you know what, at the end of the day, it goes away, and your house is disinfected, and if you can't find cleaners, this is a good alternative. So, I did half of the bottle, and I'm eyeballing it of vinegar, Oops, spilling water all over my counter, and then I'm topping it off with just tap water. Um, shake it up, and we're gonna clean my trash can, because that's what I was gonna disinfect. Um, another little hint for you, if you're needing distilled water, I know some people use CPAP machines and need distilled water, uh, from what I understand, and I would definitely research it first, but I understand that all you have to do is boil water and that becomes distilled. Um, when I use my neti pot, I get the water out of my tea kettle. I, you know, I keep boiling boiled water for hot tea, and I know there's been a run on all kinds of water. So if you're running out of distilled water, um, you can just go ahead and boil some, let it come to temperature. Sorry if I'm making anybody motion sick. So I'm just going to, oh, and you can also use this on glass. You can wash your windows with this. You can wash mirrors with it. I'm just spraying it. Let it sit. I'm over the sink because it's gonna be wet and I have laminate floors. And then you just wipe it off. Yes, it smells like vinegar. I can smell it, but again, it goes away. And from what I've heard, this also will get rid of like pet smells. If your uh, animal has an accident on your carpet, I would definitely check it in a color fast area. Um, but you can do that. You can pour it down your drain. I also use vinegar to clean my tea kettle with my hard water stains. And I put it through my Keurig. So typically what I'll do is take a bottle, pour it into my tea kettle, my electric tea kettle, which I've done before, and I will boil it, let it cool. It's taken all the hard water, the white crusty stuff off of my um, tea kettle, and then I put it in my Keurig and run it through my Keurig until it's, you know, until it runs clear. Now you can reuse it. The problem with my Keurig is I'm adding water at the end to get it to, you know, get rid of the vinegary smell. So that's done. No film, no mildewy, no muss. And I, what I love the best is it doesn't leave any type of a residue behind on my can. Now, I don't know about your stainless steel like stove or um, refrigerator. When I got my refrigerator, they told me don't use glass cleaner on it. And I usually typically just wash my refrigerator with water. But yeah, there, 
now I'm, I'll wash the top off. And I just cleaned and disinfected my trash can with pennies worth of vinegar and that smell's already gone. So I hope that helps. And I know this time is kind of trying for everybody. I'm just thinking of things that can be helpful to you. All right, everybody have a good one and be safe. Bye.